So hi, my name is Amy Gerrish. I'm a research social scientist at the West Midlands Regional Genetics Laboratory in Birmingham. And my role in the NHS is mainly to develop new genetic tests. Um, and I particularly work on retinosoma. So I thought I'd tell you a bit about retinosoma, um, how we're having some challenges with our genetic testing and what our research is doing to try and help with this. So retinosoma is a type of eye cancer. Um, it's developed in the retina, which is at the back of um, the eye, the lining that uh, detects light. Um, and it affects children, mainly under the age of three. Um, and there's about 50 cases diagnosed in the, in the UK every year, uh, about 8,000 worldwide. Retinosoma is caused by changes in a gene known as RB1. Um, and each patient will have different changes in their gene. So it's really important that we find out uh, what these changes are um, because it can tell us whether the uh, patient's uh, changes are just within the tumour itself or whether those changes are within all cells within their body. And this can tell us whether, um, predict, can predict whether they're likely to get a tumour in their second eye and also whether they're likely to get cancers later in life. We identify changes in RB1 um, by looking at the DNA in tumour um, and in the past uh, us scientists had access to tumour as an eye was um, um, sometimes removed as part of treatment um, but with um, advances in technologies and improved treatments um, most eyes are now saved. Um, so while this is fantastic, life-changing for the patient, it poses some challenges to our scientists as we now don't have access to this tumour sample. Um, so we need to find a new way to identify these genetic changes in the patient, which is so um, useful information for uh, both the patient's doctor and the family. This is where our research comes in. Um, we are looking to develop genetic tests using a special kind of DNA uh, called cell-free DNA. Uh, regular DNA is within, uh, found within cells, um, but as the name suggests, cell-free DNA is released by cells um, into circulating fluids of, the fluids of the body, such as blood and urine. So cell-free DNA um, is released by lots of different types of uh, cells, including, including tumour cells, um, which means that you can now um, take a blood sample from a patient and sometimes you can take, detect a cancer within that patient um, because um, the cell DNA will have small, um, small parts of cell DNA from the tumour. Um, and this is sometimes called a liquid biopsy. Um, so what we're doing in our research is trying to take this technology um, to work with retinosoma. Um, so how we identify our changes in the RB1 gene is by sequencing the gene. And we do this for these types of sequences, so we would put our uh, DNA from the library into the sequencer and then it would sequence the DNA for us. So our research group in Birmingham was one of the first to show that you can detect cell-free DNA from the tumour within a patient's eye fluid um, and we were the very first group to show that you can identify the changes in the RB1 gene by using this eye fluid. Um, so what we hope with this test is that we can fill in the missing genetic information for patients where um, a tumour sample isn't available. Uh, the second part we want to do with the genetic test is we want to use it um, to look at other changes in the tumour that we um, think might be linked to more aggressive types of disease uh, which are resilient to treatment and so if we can identify these changes um, in, the ch um, in a patient it might help doctors decide what's the best patient pathway um, for that patient. So what this information um, could do is it could show that a patient um, um, isn't going to um, develop retinosoma in their second eye or cancer later in life. So obviously that's a massive, um, uh, it's massively helpful to the families as it means that they're relief to the families and it means that the patient themselves won't have to go through extra screening um, throughout life um, to check that they haven't developed cancer. Um, so there's that side. And then also, um, 
if we do um, find out that the patient um, is at risk of these cancers, they can obviously be screened more thoroughly. And also, um, then if they have um, siblings, we can check, check for the variant that is in the patient in those, uh, in those siblings as well to see whether they're at risk. And then obviously, if they are at risk, they can be um, screened more closely as well. Um, so uh, this research has been jointly funded by um, the charity Fight for Sight and also the uh, Childhood Eye Cancer Charity and so we are hugely grateful to their support um, for this work and also we would like to thank the retinal stoma families that have been involved in this research as obviously without them none of this would be possible.